What's up you guys, this is Sarah again and welcome to Android Tools. So today we're gonna be counting down our top picks for the top 10 Apple Arcade games that are actually worth playing. And if you don't know, Apple Arcade is a new gaming subscription service that will eventually provide access to over 100 games for iPhones, iPads, Macs, and Apple TV devices. It costs $5 per month for an entire family, and your first month is free. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Starting off at number 10, we have Frogger in Toy Town. This game is similar to most other mobile puzzle games, and each stage has three tasks that you need to complete to collect coins. Two of the tasks almost always revolve around saving a certain number of froglets, while the third is usually level specific. Sometimes you have to avoid taking damage, other times you have to avoid being hit by a certain hazard. It can be troublesome when hazards start to stack up, because if you do take a hit, any froglets you've rescued will scatter to the wind. The levels are short, so it's not the biggest of deals to just start over once you take your first bit of damage. Moving on to number 9, we have Super Impossible Road. Super Impossible Road has you covered both for couch and online play. Up to four players can race against each other using split screen at a silky smooth 60 frames per second. And when it's time to step it up and compete against the rest of the world, up to eight players can race against each other online. Level up your skills in career mode, in which you're challenged by a series of races and trials. When you're finished, you'll have the strategy and experience to take on the best pilots. Time Gate Mode challenges you to reach gates and earn time extensions. This means taking huge risks as the timer runs down to zero. Coming in at number 8, we have Skate City. If you're looking for something more chill, Skate City should be on your playlist. This game is dripping with warm California sunshine colors, and it's easy to pull off all sorts of tricks, from ollies to grinds. But it's also easy to fall, so this one will take some time to practice. Sadly, before this game, it was hard to find in-depth skating games on the App Store. Skate City changes this up, bringing you classic environments that are perfect for nailing lots of different tricks. This game is much better to be played with a controller to achieve more tricky maneuvers on the skateboard. Next up at number 7, we have Where Cards Fall. This is an isometric puzzle game set in a dreamlike world. You'll be tasked with helping a young boy traverse this world by building various constructs with cards by dragging them around the area. This can be used to help him reach other parts of the level, or even to build a shop that he can pop into. Inside these various buildings, which can include a coffee shop or a record store, you can head inside and grab a beverage or listen to some tunes. This means that you're not just creating a path to the end of each stage, you're creating a little world to explore. Moving on to number 6, you have Sayonara Wild Hearts. Sayonara Wild Hearts tells the story of a young woman who experiences devastating heartbreak and in the wake of that discovers a much larger framework to the universe that she must navigate in order to restore its balance. You control her as she runs, flies, or drives through a series of levels. Each part of the game is set to a different song that matches the mood of a particular encounter. You are on the rails the entire time, reacting to the world around you as it zooms past you, avoiding obstacles, aiming for collectible hearts to rack up points, and pressing a button in time to jump to a new platform or attack an enemy. Moving on to number 5, we have Sonic Racing. This is a gorgeous arcade racer full of blistering races, mind-bending tracks. This new idea that makes cooperation fun. The story of its adventure mode certainly leaves plenty to be desired. The focus is exactly where it should be. The pure, unadulterated speed that makes Sonic so iconic. Whether you're drifting around corners to build up your boost meter, hitting pads as you rocket around tracks, or gliding through a teammate's slipstream, Sonic Racing continuously pushes the speed limit. Every race is a non-stop search for ways to go even faster, and the entire team system is built around keeping your group traveling as a single, fast-moving unit. Next up at number 4, we have Shin Sakai Into the Depths. This game doesn't include much text or audio, and the narrative is basically presented entirely through your interaction with the world. And it tells you the story of the last survivor. The human race is pretty much done for, and you just keep dwelling deeper and deeper. In terms of gameplay, the entire experience feels like a console game. There are tons of things you have to keep track of in order to survive in the perilous depths of the ocean. 
from your oxygen reserves to the pressure resistance level of your diving suit. Coming in at number 3 we have LEGO Brawls. You'll create and customize your own unique LEGO characters from a diverse variety of options. Team collaboration will play an important role in this game, as well as players do their best to battle it out across some of the most iconic locations in the classic LEGO themes, including the world of Ninjago. Each stage in the game will bring new challenges, objectives, and power-ups for players to build. Since this is a game set in the LEGO world, players will be using bricks to build epic power-ups such as a pie launcher, money gun, snake car, jetpacks, and even hot dog stands and use them as weapons. Next up at number 2 we have Hot Lava. Hot Lava is all about imagination and flawless timing. Players put themselves directly into the imagination of a young child. This young child is a massive fan of a 90s style Saturday morning cartoon named The Global Action Team, as they liven up their own life by imagining the heroes bounding their way around their everyday life. You take on the role of one of these heroes, racing around environments like shops, gyms, and parks all while trying to avoid the floor. I've played a couple of hours of Hot Lava and I quite enjoyed the game. It's not like a traditional platformer because the path that you must take isn't always obvious. And finally, number one, we have Ocean Horn 2. Ocean Horn 2, Knights of the Lost Realm 2, takes place in the same fantasy world as the previous game of the series, Ocean Horn. You play as a young, ambitious boy who trains very hard in order to become a Knight of Arcadia. Set a thousand years before the events of the first chapter, this one takes you on a magical journey across the vast world of Gaia brimming with mythology and lore. A young knight faces an impossible challenge as warlock Mesmeroth has returned with a formidable dark army. You won't be able to take this journey alone. Trin, the granddaughter of Arcadia's leader, Archimedes, and Jen, a mysterious robot wielding an old samurai weapon, will join forces with you and fight at your side against Mesmeroth's dark army. So that's it you guys, if you found this video interesting then leave it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video, peace! <laughs>